Hi, welcome to this edition of the 2-Minute Tech Tip, and today we're going to be talking about eye control rest, and we're going to be focusing on using curl just to kind of manipulate a self-IP, and so I'm going to set some variables here that we're going to work with. The first one here is the URL I'm setting to my own big IP, and then of course the uh, net self uh, uh, URL, and if you'll notice that kind of follows TMSH uh, after the, the eye control REST API uh, starts management TM and then everything else is is the TMSH path so net self user info is admin admin on my test box here uh, the header application JSON uh, all the I control REST data is the JavaScript notation so we're going to set that header and then I've defined a self IP that we're going to create self one and we need to create the the name the address and the VLAN all the other uh, fields are optional and then once we have that object created, we're going to update it with uh, allowing uh, the uh, self-IP services uh, to be all. And so let's go ahead and create an object here. So we're going to set our user info and then the URL. And then we're going to set the header. And then we're going to do a post and to self1. Now I use a tool called JQ that I put in the var temp directory. I highly recommend you do the same. It formats things very nicely. Okay, so we created that post and you can say uh, that the full path is new self uh, from, from net. So if we go to that, we can update our URL here and just do new self. We're going to set that same header, but we're going to do a put and then we're going to change this to the self1 service variable that we created up here. If you notice this one, we're going to change the allow service all. So you can see there's no uh, allow service there because it's default at this point. But once we set that, now you can see that the allow service is there. And then finally, we're going to use the curl to delete that self. And so I don't need to put any data there. I just need to do a delete. And once I do my delete, can then look for the URL. And we can see that there is no more new self. We've got VMNet3 and Kolgatha.net and of course uh, self VMNet2. So this uh, is a very quick demonstration of what you can do with the iControl REST interface uh, just to get started. This has been another edition of the 2-Minute Tech Tip.